Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So far we've been doing a variety of work, we've done some restorations, we've done some how-to, I've shown you how to remove different components on my vehicles and how to install them. So we've covered uh, two reviews, chainsaw videos, all sort of stuff. So I like to bring you a variety of content and I know that uh, not all of you watch everything, um, but in today's video I want to show you something slightly different than what we do here on the channel. I want to teach you some very basic diagnostics and I'm going to tell you very shortly what software and hardware I have. Um, the reason I'm doing this is 21st century everyone needs diagnostic software. If you want to save some money and time um, buy yourself the hardware and the software and learn how to do some diagnostic yourself. What I will show you today as I mentioned this is aimed towards the beginners, people who have absolutely zero knowledge when it comes to hardware and software. Now we can spend hours talking about the different type of hardware and software that uh, there is out there. In today's video, I'm gonna show you what I use. Um, I have most of the software and hardware, but I tend to use the DECAN cable and uh, my diagnostic laptop, I have Easter Plus on it. Now, Easter Plus um, offers great value for money. Um, if you have the software, that's great. If you have the hardware, again, that's, that's, that, that's super. If you need some help with installation or if you need some help with um, purchasing the software and the hardware, again, before I go any further, I'm not trying to force you into buying anything. This is not sales channel, but if you need any help, don't be afraid to let me know. Um, the exciting news about my channel is that recently I partnered with one of my subscribers. He doesn't have a channel, but he has 30 years of experience when it comes to diagnostics and not just BMW, but more or less any make and model. Um, the person's name is Samir. I'm going to leave his website in the description of my video. You're more than welcome um, to have a look at his website and see what he offers. He does hardware, software, he can remotely connect your vehicle uh, for different reasons. You can, he can do scanning for you, he can do coding, programming, all sorts of stuff. So me and Samir are going to be working together on the Kin Mechanics channel. Um, we get on very well and uh, it just, uh, things just worked out in, in, in a way that we decided to just collaborate and start working together and help you keep your vehicles on the road. Now, I don't want to waste too much of your time with this intro. Um, gonna go to the hardware, so the hardware that you require. In today's video, by the way, I'm gonna be doing some diagnostics on my BMW 38. The BMW E38 has two ports. It has the 20 pin port, which is in the engine bay, and you have the standard OB2 port under the dashboard. If you wanna do full diagnostics, you need to use the port in the engine bay. So you're going to be using the OBD port with the 20 pin connector connected to the decan cable. Um, again, this hardware is, is, is available on Samir's website or you're more than welcome, as I said, to buy it from um, any, anywhere you, you want. There's different colors, there's uh, clear, there's blue, mine is blue. Um, they're more or less the same hardware um, and that's what I found at the time and that's what I purchased. So um, this was what you need in order to use Easter Plus. If you have ICOM, even better, it's going to be, um, it's been, it's going to be quicker. This is the slower cable, but again, I want to try and bring you some value for money um, hardware here. And uh, the software that we're going to be reviewing today, and I'm going to be teaching you some very basic how to connect your vehicle, how to do a scan, and how to correctly delete the faults. Believe it or not, um, a lot of people use the software and they don't know how to correctly delete the faults. So, um, I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna stop here, I'm gonna connect to my vehicle, I'm gonna connect the hardware to the laptop. So basically, you connect this to your OBD port in the vehicle and you plug in the USB cable into your laptop. Let's not waste any time, let's go ahead and do it. Just before we start with the actual video, I just wanted to let everyone know that this is uh, aimed towards beginners. Um, so if you have uh, good knowledge of ISTA, you may uh, find this a little bit boring. So uh, skip to the next videos um, where you might actually learn something that you don't know. But um, in the first couple of episodes, 
um, we're going to be concentrating on those people who have absolutely zero knowledge and they want to learn everything from the beginning. So I'm going to try and create a very easy to follow and um, clear videos on the Easter Plus system. Uh, some of the older versions are known as Easter D. Uh, my version is uh, 4.11.32, so it's not um, some of the newest versions, but it does the job for me and I'm happy enough to work on my E38 and E39s with the version that I have. Once you connect your vehicle, you connect your diagnostic cable, you have started the program and uh, what do we do next? So let's uh, take a look at what happens next. So there's a couple of ways you can um, identify your vehicle. Go to operations and uh, you can um, go by VIN number. You can input the VIN number. Some versions of ISTA, um, they need, they require you to put the full VIN number. And uh, in my case, my version, I can find my vehicle if I if I just put the last seven digits of my VIN number. So in my case is uh, DB10563. These are the last seven digits of my um, of my VIN number. So if you input these and then um, you click accept, <clears throat> this will find your vehicle. This is very good, by the way, if. Um, for example, if you're not in your garage, if you're not connected to the car, um, if you want to just read some uh, repair uh, manuals or if you just want to look for some torque specs or anything at all that you just want to use the database that ASTA Plus offers. So if you um, just type in your VIN number, connect, you don't have to be connected to the vehicle and then you can find what you need, but obviously you can't do any diagnostics. And then the second uh, way of um, doing the doing the connection is um, to read out the vehicle data from the actual vehicle itself. Um, this is the the method that I prefer. And uh, yeah, as long as you're connected, you need to turn the ignition on and then just complete identification. So when you click on complete identification, then you will be presented with this screen. Um, and uh, bear in mind that this system is works quite slow on the D cable or, or the DCAN cable. Um, so it will take a little bit of time. I will try and speed up the process here. Um, obviously, I'm, I've recorded this previously, so I'm going to speed up the, the process so I don't bore you to death. Uh, but yeah, you can see some information starts uh, popping up on the screen. You can see the VIN number, you can see the mileage. Um, the mileage, by the way, um, whenever the mileage appears, and just bear in mind that it says mileage, but it's actually kilometers. Um, so you may get scared first. Um, you may think, oh, my mileage has been clocked. But this is a European system and it shows um, your mileage in kilometers. I have about 100 and uh, just over 153,000 miles on my clock. Um, so whenever the mileage pops up on the screen here, yeah, so it's 247,000 uh, kilometers. I'm going to let all the information load. Um, it will not uh, get everything on the screen here, but we'll go over some of the basic information on the screen. So again, I'm not going to go into super great detail. This is self-explanatory, but you can see obviously drive type, uh, it's rear wheel drive, production date of the vehicle, uh, the type of uh, body, it's a sedan or saloon as people call it here in the UK. And it's the version, obviously this is ECE, this is European version for the UK market with a right-handed uh, steering wheel, series, seven series, the engine M62, and then the exact M62 B44. This is the, uh, the M62 TU engine, uh, which is the facelift, construction date, uh, the, uh, the month and year of manufacture. My car is October 2000. Um, steering, as I mentioned, this is the right-sided uh, steering wheel, which is uh, a UK version. Um, the model of the car, and this is E38, and then the model code is GG82, 740i, and uh, so on. So in the next step, um, you will, um, when when the identification progresses, you will see that the, the diagnostic system um, is trying to read and it's actually reading all the modules. A couple of uh, important things here about the modules. Obviously, you will see the modules are lit in different colors. 
um, the most important color is green. If uh, every module is in green, you have absolutely no issues and you have no reason to be uh, diagnosing faults. But uh, obviously you will see uh, in my case, I have different colors apart from green. Um, there is a red color as well, which is, I only have one. This is my uh, SatNav system, which uh, went on fire one day. So I unplugged it and I removed it completely. Um, so this is obviously um, ECU not responding or, or just a ECU that has been disconnected. Next color that we see here is amber or yellow, orange, whatever you want to call it. I call it amber. Um, so this, uh, this color means that you have faults present in these ECUs. We have two more colors to discuss. We have a gray color, um, which means that um, this, is a, this is a module that is not, it could be available for this car, but it's not present. So if somebody spec the car um, uh, with different spec, certain modules will be there. But in my case, this is what I have. Uh, when, when the system finishes um, the test, you will see um, some of the great modules that appear on the screen. And again, um, on the very bottom right uh, corner here of the screen, you will see uh, a blue light, which means that this is a ECU with programming abort. The blue color can mean a couple of things. Uh, it could mean that uh, the module is installed, but it, uh, it just uh, doesn't read the software um, and uh, it's not programmed correctly. So the ECU may have been flashed or programmed incorrectly. Um, this is generally uh, what happens when you get a blue light. I'm very happy that I don't have any of these blue lights. So I have red one, as I mentioned, uh, for one module that has been disconnected. Most of them are green. And uh, yeah, I have some uh, modules that have faults in them. And again, if you're wondering why you have two DMEs, one is in gray and one is in uh, amber, it means that this car could have two DMEs. For example, some of the V12 uh, versions, they have um, two DMEs, they have two mass airflow sensors, and they're more complicated. Um, it's a different type of engine, so you may end up having two DMEs. But in my case, the 740i has one DME. And uh, yeah, let's continue um, with the next step. So we've explained all the colors, what they mean. Now I wanted to mention something um, interesting here that I haven't seen this covered by any other channel. Something very important. You have these uh, three different color lines um, that connect all the modules. So you have KBUS for red. Um, this is the KBUS um, uh, line, which is in red. And then uh, the green one is the IBUS and then the CAN bus is the black one. So you can see these, all these modules are linked together through these lines, um, but they have different colors. So we'll leave it at this, um, at this point, but we will talk in the future, in future videos, as to how these could help us find faults in the right place. So we wanna click on display fault memory. And when you click this, then you will actually see the screen with um, all the faults. So we have nine faults, as I mentioned, and you have four columns here. Ignore all these different boxes here. This will just confuse you at this point. So if you just learn in this video how to connect your vehicle, how to obviously start the software, and then you connect your vehicle via the two methods that I mentioned via VIN number. If you didn't want to connect your vehicle, you just want to read some information about your vehicle. If you just wanted to connect, um, to your vehicle uh, via the second method I showed um, where it will scan it automatically. Then you um, read all the faults and you get to this point here. So you have four columns, you have code, you have description, you have mileage and class. Don't worry about class at this point. This is um, something you will uh, see in use for newer models. In uh, our case with the E38, um, we just have these main three sections here. So we have the code. This is the actual fault code and the description of what the fault is. Um, so for example, this one here, LWS, this is supply terminal 30. So this is my battery was running quite low on uh, power. So this is what happens if you start your vehicle and you don't have enough amps in your battery or your voltage has dropped. And then the mileage, this will show you um, at what mileage the fault uh, appeared. So this fault here, for example, S0032, 
no communication possible with the navigation system. Um, it happened when the vehicle had 247,990 kilometers. I've decided to keep this, as I mentioned, as simple as possible um, for beginners. So what we'll do is uh, I'm going to show you how to delete the faults. And uh, in the next episode or in the next part, we're going to talk about uh, more in depth about the faults. We're going to talk about the other sections um, that are available here, what else you can do with ISTA. And uh, yeah, again, we can go into uh, test plans. We can calculate the test plan that you can see here on the bottom right corner. This is something that East Plus is very famous for, and it will help you find issues step by step. What we normally do is we scan the vehicle, we delete the faults, and then we scan it again so we can see what's uh, stored in the issue. If you can't clear it, obviously you have a permanent issue, or you may have some intermittent faults from time to time. So we'll do this and then we'll end the video and then we just make the videos more and more complicated and more interesting for those of you who have a little bit more knowledge on Easter Plus or Easter Day. So, so delete fault memory is the second box um, from the bottom left corner. So when you click on delete uh, fault memory, the system will start um, obviously deleting the faults. And this is something very, very important to do the job properly you need to wait for the process to finish patiently. Um, once this is finished, it will ask you to switch off the ignition and remove the key. Uh, you don't have to remove the key, but as long as you switch off the ignition and wait for at least 10 seconds, um, this will permanently delete the faults because you can end up just partially deleting them. And if you don't uh, switch off the ignition, you're not gonna do the job right. So, um, switch off the ignition, wait for 10 seconds, the system will tell you turn ignition on and then it will run another test and it will show you what permanent faults are stored in your DME or in your modules. If you switch off your ignition at this point, um, just wait, as I mentioned, for 10 seconds and this is it. Just the message disappeared um, and now what you want to do again is um, you want to start another vehicle test. So if you click on the bottom left box, show um, of start vehicle test, um, this will again run another diagnostic scan and it will show you, as I mentioned, just faults that are permanently present in your um, modules. So um, I'm gonna let this finish and, and uh, this will be the end of uh, today's first part one uh, beginners video so what you've learned here is what cables you need um, how to connect your vehicle how to scan your vehicle how to scan the faults and uh, how to delete them so yeah i think um, at this point i'm going to end the video and uh, this is a good base for everyone who has absolutely zero knowledge when it comes to ista um, we've obviously seen how to connect to your vehicle, what cables we need, what um, special connectors, for example, the E38 and the 20 pin. Um, so we've connected to our vehicle, we've scanned the vehicle, we've uh, scanned for faults, we found what faults we have and uh, we deleted the faults and now we're left with the permanently stored faults in uh, our uh, modules. So big thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you learned something from my tutorial. If you have any question whatsoever, don't be afraid to ask. Just drop me a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks.